Hey everybody, we're here in Salt Lake City to see the first national tour of MJ the Musical. And here's what you could expect when you see it when it rolls into your town. So MJ the Musical is this really high energy show. It's got amazing pacing. And honestly, it's this level up from when it comes to like your traditional like biopic show or whatever, you know, like Beautiful or Jersey Boys. They, it really feels like they've evolved this style of show and they kind of tell two stories at once. And so this story is all about the 1992 Dangerous Tour and Michael Jackson's like path of creating this tour. It talks about like how he came up with the concepts and kind of what was happening and kind of the pressure that it took to put this tour together, all simultaneously while telling the story of some of the things that shaped him with his family and with some of the moments from the Jackson 5 as well. I loved, I learned, I felt like I learned a lot of things about Michael, even though it was just a little sliver of his life. Like he, he like put his Neverland Ranch up for a mortgage to pay for this tour because this tour was insane. It's funny, when we saw this on Broadway, I remember walking into the theater and there was just like this energy in the room and it was just this awesome feeling. But I think the thing that really got to me was when MJ first came out, um, I honestly had to like check myself. Like there was a moment where I kind of felt like, oh my gosh, maybe he's not really dead and maybe he's on that stage. And uh, I mean, the same kind of thing, same kind of thing every time I've seen this show, I just love the energy that MJ brings to the show. They do such a great job with making you feel like that's MJ. You know, and I can't move like MJ, so I'm amazed that anybody could do that. But these folks in the cast, it feels like it's Michael Jackson on the stage doing those moves, singing those songs. It's incredible. There's these moments of the tour and you kind of learn how creative he was as a person and how he puts a tour together. And then there are these moments from his past and they're literally happening on top of each other to some degree. Some of the characters, in the cast kind of bounce back and forth a little bit. The other thing I really liked is how you learn about how the way he was raised and like his father's influence really impacted him as an artist and how much of a perfectionist he was and how he had to do everything right and perfect and be on stage and give everything to the audience. Yeah, I love that. You kind of get this evolutionary this, uh, view of what Michael Jackson was as an artist and kind of how he kept evolving his sound and kept evolving his artistry. And man, I mean, just relentless, I think is yeah. probably the best word to use. You know, and usually he's the one to talk about this, but this is one of the coolest shows I've ever seen when it comes to like the projections and the tech and the things that you're seeing on stage. Like that stood out to me and I'm usually the girl that only pays attention to the dancing and the singing. Yeah, the projections in this show are amazing. This is Peter Negrini. He is one of the pioneers of projection inside of the Broadway world and it shows, I mean, Combining that with the set design, it was just amazing. There's like kind of this LED wall at the back that kind of is this living, breathing kind of what time of day it is and where your location is. But then the projection bleeds over the top of it as well. And there's moments where it combines where like the back wall matches the projections and it's just wild from a tech standpoint. And all of it just feels so effortless. I'm always impressed with the cast of MJ the Musical because they are on stage almost all the time because they flip from either being in the in the crew that are part of the tour to then being a member of the Jackson 5 or the mom of the, of the Jacksons. So they're always doing something and even just watching how the way they move their body changes, the way their voice changes, you really do know which character they're portraying, even though it's just a minor little like shirt change, but everything about them changes and it really impresses me, every single person in that cast. Absolutely, I specifically remember MJ's manager. It was just interesting. He plays MJ's manager and then he also ends up playing the, t the role of his dad when they're kind of flashing back. And he even like changes his posture throughout the show. So like he kind of starts more upright when his dad's younger and then like the older his dad gets, the more of a hunchback he has. He just did really well. I loved his voice as well. So watch for those character changes. I think that's a great point. One of the other things I really love about the show is you walk into the theater and it feels like the show's kind of already going on, especially on Broadway, but they did it on the tour as well, which was cool. And it feels like you're on a soundstage or, you know, in a production or in a rehearsal room. Each of the characters walks in and signs in at the desk. And one of the major plot points from this show is that there's an MTV photographer or cameraman and a reporter there. And they're there to interview Michael Jackson as he's putting together this tour. And they walk in and they're like talking with Michael Jackson's manager and like getting a feel for if it's okay if they film or not. And it's just interesting. So as you're taking your seat, watch for those little details and the effort they put into making you really feel like you're a part of making this tour. Okay, when you have a show called MJ the Musical, it's going to be filled with the music from the King of Pop and 
it is incredible. I, it has all the songs that I love. It had some songs that aren't as famous that you like, you're like, oh, okay, that, I can see why they had that. It, it really helps tell the story. But then I love that they even get into the Jackson 5 and do a lot of those songs from his early childhood all the way up to like later and towards the end of his career. Okay, it's just about showtime. So we're gonna step inside and I'll show you a little bit more about what it looks like when you walk into the theater for the MJ the Musical National Tour. So this is what the stage looks like in the beautiful Eccles Theater in downtown Salt Lake City. Most most of the musicians are on the stage, but this is what the pit area looks like for MJ the Musical, the tour. This is what the set looks like for a lot of the show. This is meant to be a rehearsal area for the tour they're making in the show. This is what the fly area above the set looks like. This is another angle of the set itself. And zooming in on where all the musicians sit on the stage, this area does slide in and out throughout the show, but it is on the stage for a lot of the show. And this is what the playbill looks like for the Eccles Theater in Salt Lake City for the MJ the Musical Tour. Joe's about to start, here we go. Oh man, we just got out of the show and my heart is still pounding. Right, it just kind of hits you right in the chest and doesn't stop. I love his music and that show just, oh, I love every bit about it. Absolutely, me too. The energy of this show, there's just something else. It just kind of draws you in and just makes you feel all the different story aspects that they talk yeah. about and how interesting it all is. The pacing, the, the way that they keep the pace throughout and keep you entertained. Yeah. Such a great look at a show. So things I love the best about this show, I love the guy who played Middle Michael in the national tour. Say that three times fast. Middle Michael, Middle Michael, Middle Michael. Middle Michael. The guy who played Middle, Middle Michael, I still, now I, now I can't do it. Middle Michael was incredible. His voice, I really thought that that was Michael Jackson on stage. There was just something electric about him and I could not take my eyes off of him. Okay, the other thing I love, dancing. I don't know how they do that. Like, I thought Michael was incredible and to be able to recreate those famous moves that he did throughout his whole career and to do it on stage every night on a national tour is incredible to me. I loved watching Roman Banks. It was so interesting to see him in this role. You could tell that it's something that he like, grew up with and just kind of was in the fiber of who he is as a performer. But also I think it's so interesting because he's recently out of Dear Evan Hansen, which is a completely different role. Very like, different. He wasn't just playing Evan, he was playing a couple of the characters, I think Evan and Jared and even Connor. Yeah. And then to see him step into Michael Jackson is such a transformation. So hats off to that guy, just an amazing performance. The other thing I gotta say about this show is the projection, the technology and just kind of how it all works together. There wasn't really a moment in this show where you were like, oh, we're waiting for the scene to change or a blackout or anything like that. It was like straight up relentless. And the pace of this show and the pace that everything worked, the projections, the way that they kind of just weaved themselves right into the set, you really couldn't tell the difference between where the set ended and the projection began. And that to me is how projections should be. The tech and the choreography, again, just like the projections in the set, you couldn't really tell where one ended and the other began. So those are definitely the things that I love about this show. And of course, we kind of always like to talk about the things that maybe didn't land for us or that we didn't love. You know, that's funny because I really can't think of one. That, this show, it was so well paced. It had all the music that I loved. It had all the dancing. I thought it had a great storyline. I don't think there's anything I would improve. Yeah, I don't have a lot of opportunities for this show. It's interesting, we were walking back to the car afterwards and I was like, oh, there's this little moment on Broadway I was waiting for that they did change it up on the tour. And there was this couple moments where I was like, oh, I wish the tour was like that too. But I gotta say, they did so many great things with this tour. Most people walking into the tour versus Broadway wouldn't even notice the difference. And so they even went all out with the production value in this first national tour. So if you get a chance to see the first national tour, watch for every little detail because they don't often bring every little thing that they do on Broadway along with them on the tour. And this one was really yeah. close. So if you're on the edge, you're kind of feeling like it's just another jukebox musical, Jersey Boys type things, telling the life of a musician. Which those are great. Those We're not out to get well. those. This is unlike anything I've ever seen before when it comes to a, like a biopic musical type of show. Yeah, they definitely leveled up their game and this sets a new standard for that for sure. The first national tour of MJ the Musical is currently touring all across the US. So make sure you add it to your list and get out and see some shows. We'll see you at the theater.